Hello student, uh, this is Roshan sir and first of all welcome to the grade 5 okay so in grade 5 term 1 first chapter in computer is computer memory okay so in the computer memory we are focused about what is the memory first what are the types of memory what are the different types of memory used in computer so in this chapter is totally focus on the what are the types of memories and all okay so uh, types of memory what is the use of memory where we want to which memory use which memory so that part only explain in this chapter there is no practical in this chapter so it's theoretical chapter okay so it's only theory part there is no any practical okay so once the chapter complete you complete the exercise it's given be just behind the chapter okay if you are facing any problem to complete that exercise you can send me a whatsapp messages no problem i can give you solution still there is a lockdown so there is no other any solution so we need to complete the lesson online only and if you have any problem you can send me a messages i can give you solution okay so this chapter is computer memory so in the memory computer memory means what uh, whatever we have a data in a computer it stores somewhere so like I take one example suppose you have a birthday or you are in your family there is some wedding function so you collect all the photos and you keep somewhere in computer so it means what you are keeping somewhere your data like in same way a mobile phone a mobile phone we have a photos we have song we have videos we have movies all we think that is save in your mobile phone or we can save all these things in your computer save the things it means what there is one memory okay memory means what like in the human being we have memory so it's memory means brain so in the brain we can store a lot of uh, activities what we are hap what happening with us okay what are the memories okay so that is stored in the our mind okay so that is called memory memory means what it stored the things for your whatever it's happened it's stored with you so that is the example of real life memory okay the mind is the memory which is stored the memories are what are the memories are in the life okay so like uh, what happened when you are in a grade first grade second all these are the good memories so we all the saves that memory are in your brain brain sorry so now in the computer memory so this is the brain is the human being okay human being part so uh, the brain stored the all the important things in a mind okay so same way in a computer we have some memory so in that memory we stored some important document video audio pictures etc okay so in this chapter we are focused what are the types of the memory what is the uh, various types and what are the use of the types okay so in this chapter we just focus upon the memory topic okay so in the this chapter we covered memory and explore the different types of the memory differentiate between primary memory and secondary memory what is the meaning of primary memory and what is the secondary memory so all these part we can explain learn in this lesson okay so now i just show it to you units of measure first heading is unit of measure okay so uh, just as the weight of a solid solid object is measured in gram or kilogram and the volume of liquid is measured in liquid in liter or milliliter the amount of data can be stored in the computer is measured by a byte so means what unit of measurement means unit means standard unit like kg liter gram these are the standard units so which is used to calculate okay which is used to calculate like suppose i am going in market and i want 1 kg tomato so 1 kg kg is the unit standard unit so in the same way what are the units are uh, in the computer okay to store the memory so the what is the size of the memory how we find out so the memories in a computer data 
is to measured by a bytes b y t e s okay b y t e s bytes so the all information is measured in the bytes format okay the computer stored the data in the form of 1 and 0 this because the digital system understand only the two electronic state on off if your wire is on it means 1 if it is off it means 0 the on represent 1 and off represent 0 the smallest unit for the measurement of the data in the computer is called as bit okay binary digit so that's called bit a bit is the single binary value either 0 or 1 so I explain you how to do it okay what are the exp what are the different units so basically the unit are used only for to measure the size of your memory okay mm, suppose I have one data and I want that data stored in my computer memory so first of all I know what the size of that data what size is left in my computer memory then I can understand yeah this data will be saved in the computer or not so for that situation we need to measure the data and we need to measure the space also. so how we can measure we can measure in the basis of units so what are that units so I just show it to you one PPT uh, computer me memory is measured in byte a computer store the data in the form of ones and zero the group of 8 bits are called as byte it can store a one character a one byte equals to 8 bits. so there is a conversion look here the storage capacity of the data devices is measured in gigabyte or even the terabyte so first we start with 1 kb okay here some uh, information is missing so i just add that information okay okay fine so okay so first is 1 kb equals to how many bytes uh 1024 bytes okay so i write here one more i just minimize this size reduce the size it's 20 so i make And I write here uh, 8 bit sorry 8 bit equals to you can see 1 okay so from this uh, chart we can understand the different size of the uh unit 8 bit equals to 1 byte uh, 1 kb equals to 1024 bytes 1 mb equals to 1024 kb 1 gb equals to 1024 mb and 1 terabytes equals to 1024 gigabytes so this is the conversion so we can say a smallest unit of the measurement is bit the second one is the bytes third one is kilobyte fourth one is megabyte fifth one is gigabyte and the sixth one is the terabyte so this is the conversion and in your exam they may be asked questions on the fill in the blanks or they ask multiple choice questions what is the conversion so please remember these conversions are very very important okay if the 8 bit data complete then it convert into 1 byte like uh, when this, once the 60 minute complete it convert into 1 hour okay so in the one 24 hour it's convert into 1 day so basically 8 bit data it's called 1 byte if the data is more increase 1024 byte then equals to we can say 1 kb if the data is 1024 kb so we can consider it's 1 mb if the data is 1024 MB, then we can consider it's a 1 GB. And the 1024 GB, it means we consider as a 
one TB. So these are the different units are available, and uh, these units are used for a measurement. Okay. So now uh, I explain you again. This this is the conversion you can see here from your textbook. Also, you can see that this kind of conversion. Okay. So it's very easy to understand. then we have a next topic this is the type of memory so this is a, a very very important topic a computer memory is divided into mainly two categories namely internal or we can say primary and second one we can say a uh, secondary memory okay so first one is we can say internal memory and the second one we can say a uh, external memory okay primary or secondary it's more more time we use only primary memory and secondary memory so i just zoom it so you can just easily understand from this zoom okay so uh, internal memory and external memory is mainly two categories in the internal memory there are two types of memory one is ram and second one is rom and in the external memory that is secondary memory is come in hard disk cd dvd blu ray disk pen drive and memory card okay so what is the difference of primary memory and the secondary memory i just explain to you again you can understand easily okay so for that purpose i required one paint file So now from paint I can explain you how to do it. Okay. So now this is called the hard disk. Okay. This is called your computer screen. This is your computer screen. Okay. Now here is the one memory that is called RAM. Okay. So RAM and one more memory that is called ROM. This is hard disk. Okay, so now what is the internal memory, primary memory, and what is the secondary memory? So, once we start the computer, once we start the computer, once we click on start button, CPU start button, then what happened? First is active ROM. Okay, first is active ROM. Rome go in a hard disk okay take operating system OS from the hard disk to the RAM okay so first Rome is active Rome go in a hard disk take a operating system and load in a RAM Rome work is over okay so once so once we start the computer, it takes some time. In that process, what happened? This operating system is loaded in the RAM memory. Okay. So this is also memory. This is also memory. So in the RAM memory, operating system is loaded. Okay. So once the operating system is loaded in the RAM, okay. So then your display is coming, and your uh, display first wallpaper you can see in your computer screen. Okay. So this is the basic part. So now, my computer is start. Okay. Now the my RAM work is started. So whatever we can see in this display screen, okay. So that all content is stored in a RAM only. So suppose I have one folder. In that one folder, there 
so the ram capacity suppose 4 gb okay and my hard disk capacity is 1 tb okay 1 tb so now from this you can understand 1 tb how can stored in 1 gb it's possible no it's not possible so whenever we require particular folder so we just double click so in that situation when we double click so the ram go in a hard disk take that folder from the hard disk and again load in a ram okay and once the work complete that information send it to the hard disk and it's empty the work in a area in a ram okay so same way the process is going on sometime what happened your computer is hanged so in that situation means what happened you clicked on some folder but that information is not come in a ram this information still in your hard disk so that time it your in your computer hang process is hap happening it's not responding so that way happen so it's called as that information stored in only hard disk that information not come in a ram so that's why it's called as primary memory primary memory means what this is a primary memory and this is also primary memory both are primary memory so because primary means what it's directly interconnect with your screen whatever the content come in your screen it is attached with the ram okay once whatever the content in the ram that part only show it to the computer screen it required whatever thing you go in a hard disk take it from the data from the hard disk and load in a ram and that part only show in your computer screen so that's why this memory ram and rom is called as primary memory primary memory and the other hard disk is called as secondary memory. so in your uh, in your presentation you can see here i'll show it to you yeah so hard disk is the secondary memory cd secondary memory dvd secondary blu ray disk secondary pen drive secondary memory card secondary so all these are the content come in this category only so that's why all are in a secondary okay but these two are only the primary memory so why it's primary because it's directly connected with your screen okay uh, all parts are connected that's not like that way but what are the content load in your ram that is part only show in your computer screen and the rom part i already informed what is the rom role it's firstly go in a hard disk take the operating system from the uh, hard disk and load in a ram and it display uh, first wallpaper screen on your screen so now we can just detail explain what is the part and what are the this one primary memory primary memory or internal memory is used to store the data and programs that can be directly quickly accessed by the processor while the computer is running okay these are the high speed storage devices located inside the computer system the primary memory is more expensive compared to the secondary memory. the capacity of the primary memory is very limited and it is always uh, lesser compared to the secondary memory so we can see uh, the price of the primary memory is more high as compared to the price of the secondary memory means what it's very small in size but ca price capacity is price is high as compared to the secondary memory okay and it's very fast it very fast means it fastly access the data so that's why we can say it's very very fast now first ram ram means full form is random access memory so the picture it's showing it's what is the memory okay so that is called a random access memory so the speed of your phone or the speed of your uh, computer is depend on your ram if your ram is very good so definitely it work very smoothly and very fast processor and the ram these two things are very very important so random access memory is, is the type of primary memory it is used to store data and program while they are being executed or used okay the processor fetch the data needs to proceed and stored in a ram until it proceeds so it contain collect all the information and it's uh, send it toward the processor for the further process so this is called ram okay so you go through it it's very easy theoretical information and then you can understand the things so
so that is called the RAM. Okay, so random access memory. Random means what? There is no particular sequence. Uh, I'll give one example like random means what? Uh, any number. Like in the earlier we have uh, that cassettes of music cassettes. So if I want to uh, listen song number ten. So I need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So when we need to re forward, reverse and then it's come to the 10. But in the RAM what happened? We can directly play the song number 10. There is no need to go in a sequence. So that's called random. Sequence and random. So random means anyone any, at any, any time. So that is called random. Okay. And sequence means proper in a line. So this is random access memory. So you can access any part of the memory at any time. That is very important. Okay. RAM memory is referred as a primary memory or the main memory. It is also called as volatile memory. Volatile or we can say temporary memory. So once we are using a computer. Okay. I show you this diagram. Once we are using this computer and suddenly power off. Power off means what happened? Uh, my computer is off current is not coming okay so in that situation the data is automatically saved in hard disk and all the data information is erased from the ram okay it's erased from the ram suppose i type something in my notepad once i typing 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 all information stored in ram only once i i want to save that information so i clicked file and save file and save so once I clicked on save, so save means what that information is going in a hard disk and it saves somewhere in a particular folder. Okay, so if the suddenly power off, then in that situation, RAM lost the data. Okay, and that's why it's called as volatile or temporary memory. So once the power off, the data is lost. That's why we can call as volatile memory or we can call temporary memory. Because the data stored in the lost when the computer is switched on. It is a read write memory because it allows you read and write both objects. Okay. Next one is the ROM. This picture is showing how is memory. Okay. Read only memory. Read only memory means there is no option of write. Only there are some standard code is already inside that memory, that chip. And uh, that standard code only the execute again and again, again and again, same way. We, we can't change that code again and again. We can't change it. Okay. There is no need to. Then we can't change it. Okay. So that is called ROM. ROM having a specific task. That specific task is complete regularly. Simple task complete. Then there is no use of ROM. Okay. So uh, read only memory is the another type of primary memory that stores the data permanently. It is used non volatile memory. It means that particular coding is stored in that chip and that coding is not never lost once the power off there is no loss it's fixed permanently so it's that's why we can call it non-volatile ram is volatile because it's lost data and rom is non-volatile because it's not lost the data okay now the second one is called second and one, second now next topic is secondary memory Secondary memory is stored data permanently until it is deleted or overwritten. The memory is known as external memory since they usually located outside the computer. It refers to storage devices that are not always directly accessible by the computer. The data stored in a secondary storage device is not erased even when the power computer is switched off. If you are saving your photo, birthday photos or wedding photos or whatever it is, so that photo is always keep in your computer. Once the power off, but see your photo still there because it's stored in the secondary storage device. In secondary storage device, there are some categories hard disk, CD, DVD, Blu ray disk, pen drive, and memory card. So, hard disk is common in all computers and laptops. Okay, so then first is CD come, then DVD come, Blu ray disk, pen drive, and memory card. Now, only we use only pen drive, other data we we never, never means what we are rarely used, CD, DVD, Blu-ray disc and memory card. We are rarely used. We only use the pen drive. But uh, 
these are the memory included so we just explain what is the use of that memory okay so now i'll show it ppt okay ram ro ram ro okay. okay internal hard disk okay so now the we focused on the topic first is hard disk the permanently installed inside a computer it consists of many circular metallic plates disk layer with the magnetic coating okay the hard disk can store a huge amount of data now the hard disk also there are two categories internal hard disk and the external hard disk internal hard disk means it's uh with your computer only setup with your uh, cpu or in your inside the laptop or inside the computer external means it's look like a uh, hard disk it's a hard disk but it is uh, like we can connect externally like a pen drive okay nowadays the this trend is coming because the size of the data is increased continuously so the pen drive is not sufficient so in that situation uh, we use the external hard disk so external hard disk like 1 tb 2 tb these are the different types of hard disks given here okay so now i just show it to you yes this is the picture of the hard disk and this is the external hard disk now the second one is the cd cd is full form is compact disk okay compact disk also called as cd uh, is a smaller plastic disk that stores the and relate retrieves the data using a light okay to access the data stored on cd we need to place it cd drive that is located in the front of panel of cpu box cd either cd r or cd rw okay so what is that i explain to you okay now you can see here cdr and cd rw what is that so first of all the full form is compact disk it is a plastic disk that stored the and re drives the data using a light so with the help of light you can understand the information cdr and cd rw cdr means re recordable so it's r means recordable and r w it means rewritable recordable means we can record and rewritable means there is a difference what is that difference i explained to you first of all what is the cd i explained to you and it's very common we nowadays it's very common you can see cdr available most of the shops okay now cdr cdr readable means what uh, it is compact is that record data only once after which you can only the read data recorded in it okay so readable means you write a data you write information only once and then after that you just read it data okay the size the information whatever like suppose i have a blank cd so in that blank cd i write the information once once i write the information this information store permanently in that cd and whenever i want that information i can use that cd and i can collect the information so that is called cd r that is readable the capacity it can store the 650 mb to 9 900 mb data okay generally music cds game cds are available educational cds okay now cd r w it is a compact disk that can be used to record data one data more than once so suppose i write a data and i want to rewrite the data so i want rewrite so with the help of that uh, rewrite features i can write again on the same disk but it erase the old data suppose i what is the capacity of my rewritable data is 700 mb suppose already there is a some information of 700 mb and i want to write again something on 400 mb so automatically first 4 mb 400 mb data is lost and in that lost data we entered some new information so what is the difference uh, the difference is readable means once we write and use continuously again and again there is no any problem that is called readable and cd rw means what we can write again and again we can write the information again and again. 
so then next one was is coming dvd digital versatile disc full form okay so dvd is another type of optical media used for storing the digital data a dvd is similar to the cd but can store 15 times more that than the cd so some dvds are formatted specially for the videos playback while the other may contain the different type of data such as the software programs and file they are called the versatile disk due to their ability to store the many different types of data okay so the cd is very short stored a very small data so dvd is the higher version we can say it stored 15 times more data as compared to the cd so uh, dvd having a similar features and in the dvd also there is a two types of dvd uh, dvd r and dvd dvd r w okay writable and rewritable so what is the writable once we write and use information again and again and rewritable means what uh, we can write again and again in the dvd that is called the rewritable dvd okay now blu-ray disc blu-ray disc is the high capacity optical disc it is the another higher version of the dvd okay in high capi capacity optical disc developed by for, developed for recording rewriting and play playing back high definition videos a single layer blu-ray disc can store up up to 25 gb while double layer it can store a 50 gb so same features having cd and dvd but dvd stored a limited uh, data but uh, blu-ray stored more data as compared to the dvd it's single layer stored 15 gb 25 gb and it's stored 15 gb but this disk is required uh, these discs are used to store a very high quality of video and audio format compared to the dvd it's called blue day disk because blue laser use read to this okay so there are some reading technologies like blu-ray disc player or blu-ray technology is required for that reading the information for accessing the information like cd and dvd it's comfortable with the one features only but the for blu-ray it required different technology so that laser light technology is used and that laser light uh, is used to access the information whatever the right in that uh, blu-ray disc it's accessed by the laser light technology so but uh, now we can't use blu-ray disc because uh, it's not because for that purpose only we required again more technology one player and all so it's very little bit expensive that's why we use the cd dvd or otherwise we can use the pen drive a pen drive is a flash drive this portable data storage device it is smaller, lightweight, so removable, rewritable, plug, and play devices. So it's having all the features and it's very easy to use. It's very small in size, rewrite, everything features. It is used for copying and moving a data from one computer to another computer. One pen drive. Uh, okay, pen drives are easy to use and are available with the storage capacity ranging from 8 MB to 2 TB also available. So what are the base part? It's easy to use, small in size, lightweight, removable, rewritable, so and good capacity also. So that's why pen drive is very common and very famous uh, devices. Now you can see, okay. And then one is memory card. Memory card is the externally small and flat flash drive used to specially in a digital cameras and the mobile phone. So earlier mobile phones having the memory card now the some mobile phones don't having uh, that uh, features but some having still features to add extra memory card so in the way in what we are adding a memory card means what we are adding more space in your mobile phone or we are adding more space in your camera so that information that uh, flat flash drives are used for uh, storing the information it can be also used for transferring video images stored into a computer using a multimedia card it is available in various sizes up to the 1tb it's available okay so it's very easy to use directly we can uh, use built-in card readers so with the help of card reader we can use in a laptop also it's used to store the information in a 
computer in a, in a um, cameras or in a mobile phone so it's you can show it see in a picture this is the memory card okay so now i hope you understand whole the chapter the word galaxy volatile magnetic versatile and spindly so these are the word galaxy you just go through it it's very easy easy to understand and uh, then we can see here mind map so in a mind map we can see what we are learn here so in mind map we can see uh, first of all we see the units of major okay so in this units of measures first is byte second one is kilobyte third one is megabyte gigabyte terabyte okay so these are the different units what are the capacity how to convert already i we explain to you this is all the unit then we learn types of memory primary memory and secondary memory in the primary memory ram rom and in the secondary memory hard disk cd dvd blu ray disk pen drive and the memory card so these are the types of memories are available okay so i explain all the memories to you you can understand if you have any still any problem you can just send a message to me i am available on your whatsapp number and if you have if you just go through it twice thrice then you can understand okay so now uh, in the exercise first is fill in the blank question you just solve it in your book notebook then cd dvd uh, what are the capacities is mentioned in your textbook you write down then question number 3 answer the following question write down in your notebook and this is the question number 4 uh, ran want to carry out the copy his project work to complete it at home which device suggest so which one device you suggest for ran for a copy a data from home to school so these are the very easy questions and very easy exercise so you just once go through it if still you facing any problem then you can call to me okay so i hope the chapter is very easy and please try to solve all the exercise questions in your notebook and if once your questions are complete you can solve the workbook part also and in the between us there are some worksheets and videos are available whenever you have free time you just go through it and you can solve it again and again okay so now i complete this video and i'll share this video on youtube and i'll shared one link to you whenever you have free time you just go in this link and see again and again this video so from that you can easy to understand i hope you understand whole the topic if you have any queries if you have not understand any problem so please contact me on my whatsapp number i am already in your whatsapp group so you can send me a pictures photos whatever topics you not understand i can explain to you so now for that uh, topic is complete if you have any question you send it to me thank you so much and uh, have a good day